What's going on guys? I am the white guy. Today we're playing some more spin tires. We are checking out the Ford Bronco 6x6 today. We've got another one we're going to test out another day maybe, which is the Chevy Blazer 6x6. Maybe we can have like a 6x6 shootout, see which one makes it further. But yeah, this one I like better in the Blazer already because there's t different tire choices you can make and it might help if we actually have all-wheel drive on so we can get the 6x6 action there. But yeah, the, the Blazer just has the one tire choice. This one actually has multiple tire choices you can make with this according to what you're going on. I think... These are my best guesses as to what would work. I made quick, quick, quick work of that first hill right there, which usually kills a lot of cars. That first hill is actually incredibly difficult to get over usually, but this thing is just chugging through it like a champ. It's throwing a one high again, just to cruise along here and see if we can make it over this. But I, th I hope these tires were a good choice. I, I made my best guess as to what would work for most of this trail. Because a lot of this trail is hard packed stuff, and we don't need some hardcore mud bogging tires that are going to slip on the regular hard pack. But it looks like this thing actually made it up there pretty well. Alright, this thing's already impressing me. Usually these things have gotten stuck by now. So we've got some pretty good suspension travel going on back there too, which is a lot already better than the Blazer. I know the Blazer doesn't have that much travel in the suspension to have a, the wheels set at completely different angles. Let's see if we can make it. The only Oh, I can't see where I'm going. The only thing with this map though, a fun map, but if you're not doing multiplayer, you have to be incredibly careful because there's no trees to winch yourself out, whereas in multiplayer you can usually just have somebody else to winch you around if you screw up. I hope we can get through this thing all right. Looks like we're going to make it up that hill. Nice, nice. Take a right-hander here, hopefully. Yes, and we just need to climb up this. Don't shift gears at the wrong time. Automatic transmission, please. I forgot to shift down. Throw it into one high for the hill climb. Don't slide down the hill. <sighs> Dang it. Hmm. Well, that is quite the predicament I've gotten myself into right there. Uh, there isn't anything I can winch myself to, is there? Let's see. Nothing. That is, um... Yeah, I don't know how to salvage that one, so let's grab another one and try and meet it up there. That was... No, I haven't done that before in a while, so let's get this thing going. Hopefully we can just climb back over all these trails like they're nothing. This is with... This is, um... The default, more muddy style tires we have here. See how these if these actually grip any differently than the ones I have on the other Blazer or the other Bronco we already have up there. Let's see if these work any different better. Let's see. All right, these almost look like they're monster truck tires, but they should grip a lot better in the deep, deep stuff. All right, this one got over there pretty easily. We got the step down in there. That's why I point out. Look at the suspension movement here. Just soaks up the bumps. It's nice and plush. It's not like bouncing you all over the place. It's a good suspension setup on this. I like this a lot right now. And let's see if we can get over there. Nice. That was pretty easy. This thing is just chugging over everything like a champ. Oh yeah, this this thing is, is doing great so far. And we're already back up to the, the what was. This usually would take me a lot longer to get here with any other car. But this thing is just... Yeah, this thing might be the king of this. This might be the best off-road built car I've driven in this game so far. It's really working really well. The tires are all moving independently, which is good. There's not the suspension's got travel room in it. All right, see if we can winch this thing back down to its wheels from here. Uh, no, we need to drop from there. We we'll go to the far side of it, hopefully. Grab that one and pull. Release. We did it! Alright, let's see if we can actually continue driving this one up the hill here. We need to throw it down in gear, though. We're going to stall it. Alright, let's go around that one. No, we need to be moving before we try and play with the gears. Let's get this thing going up the hill. Let's actually throw it down into first, if we can help it. There we go. Looks like we might have just gotten this one stuck, unless it can just power its way out of here, which I don't think is going to happen. Oh! It's trying. It's going. Will it? Will this work? I I, I don't know. We'll see. I th I don't. I think we're gonna just move the other one out of the way first. Let's. No, we're not gonna try and go around this anymore. Let's actually try and turn this one around as long as we're here. Uh, power over that bump, front wheel. You can do it. I believe in you. Or not. All right, we we'll have to go around that, and we'll just turn around right here. Hopefully. There we go, and then we can just climb right back on over like nothing happened. Hopefully. 
Yes, that appears to have worked. We'll leave that one parked right there. And we'll change over to this one now that that's out of the way. Turn the parking brake off and hopefully we can actually get out of this little rut we seem to have gotten ourselves stuck in. There we go, we're out now. And now we just need to get this thing facing the right way. We'll try and get the thing up into one high so we can make a good hill climb attempt. Alright, get it moving. Get it moving, get it moving, get it moving. Just climb on up. Come on, push it! That is a periscope note. Oh, hey, it's Mr. Stickers! Nice. Alright, this thing's actually... I did not expect this thing just to crawl up this hill like it's doing. This, thing, this hill usually gives me way more trouble than that. That is really impressive to me. Just, as long as the gearbox doesn't decide it needs to change gears at the wrong time, we should be good! And we actually made it up there. Nice. I was just going to grab the other one here. Just keep this one sitting there in case we need to rescue ourselves. Let's grab the first one. Oh, we need to park the parking brake on for not moving. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Throw it into one high and power on! Maximum turbo boost. These wheels turning. Pull! Don't fall back down. Bite and pull yourself up the hill. You can do it, Bronco, I believe in you. Yes, it looks like that was going to be a success if it stops trying to change gears at bad times. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. And let's put it back down into the high gear so we get more speed and more power to put to the ground. As long as we keep moving it forward, we don't stall it like that. We're good. This thing is so finicky. This one high is so finicky in all these cars. you got to get to just the right time. Looks like that's going to make it. All right, this is where it gets technical and tricky. Right here, there's lots of bumps to try and dodge. Looks like we're doing that all right. Power on. And we rolled it. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Turn the parking brake on. Start the engine. Start the engine. Start engine. There we go. All-wheel drive. And you just powered over that. That was nice. Hopefully you can keep going on this trail here. Don't, no, don't roll, don't roll, don't roll. Don't roll it. Keep it going. Just keep chugging along. There we go. It's nice. Looking good, looking good so far. Keeping it moving. And right on up. Nice. Now just going to make sure we don't run off the edge of the trail there. Looks like there's a bit of a rock we're going to climb over, which again, look at that the way these wheels are all moving so differently to keep them on the ground and keep power being put down. And now is where it gets a bit tricky again. Just gotta make some hill climbs or descents of the hill, not climbing, we're descending. Just get through there, all right. And descend one more hill and we're into the deep of it now. Let's throw it into one high. All right, how brave do we wanna be when we're running through water now? Let's see. Again, this, this water here is just so pretty. But this is where it gets deep and muddy. We're going to see if this thing can mud bog very well. Which one high is not a good gear for mud bogging. So you'll just spin the tires and dig yourself in and get stuck. But here we go. Let's try and run the river here. Looks like we're doing pretty good for ourselves. This is probably the deepest, muddiest part of the trail. That's why they didn't go with the hardcore mud bogging tires. So there we go. Let's dang a lefty. And can we just cut over the... You know, there's tree stumps in the way. We can't just cut that. But we can cut it right here. And get through the water. This is where it gets a bit tricky because this is all through the water up through here. Looks like we're doing all right. Fjording the river here. All right, let's keep going. And there's some solid ground again. We're going to get turned around. Power through it again. And I want to get this thing's camera to change. Oh, that's a lot of water. That is a lot of water. Let's go on board. This is probably incredibly loud right now. So I'm going to start speaking up. This is blowing my eardrums out. This is so loud right here. Hopefully you can still hear me. Looks like we're running over this pretty all right. We throw it into one high now. We're back in some hard pack. There we go. And we're gonna hang one more run through the river. Here we go. That looks like we made it. All right. All right. That was not that. That worked. This thing is working really well. I'm really impressed. This is one of my favorite cars now. If we're just off roading here. We got over that and one more hill. We're even we're catching some air in this thing. This is ridiculous. I like how it's absorbing those wheelies really nice. It's not just bouncing all over the place. All right, looks like we're, I haven't. I don't think I've ever made it this far in this trail before. I don't know where we're going now. And we're gonna check the map here in a minute now. I want to know where I'm going. It's a, 
I don't know, I've, I usually don't even come close to making it this far. It looks like, are we going back to the garage from here now, maybe? I don't know. We'll just follow, follow this trail around and see where we end up. This is a road. Wait, where are we at? Hold up, hold up. Where are we at? Okay, now we're over here. So, we can follow the road to there. Or... Here, we'll follow that to there, then to there, there. Maybe we can make it over that hill and get to here, then we get to there, and we just follow that trail back. We'll see how this works out. Let's go! And just throw it up into higher gear, see how fast this thing can actually get going here if it gets time. Is this like a racetrack or something? I don't know what this is, but there's a big hill right here we're going to try and run over. Drifting in a 6x6, that's always fun. That that was not that hard to get over. All right. Oh boy. Keep it going. Keep it on rolling through here. Can turn off the diff lock and all-wheel drive because I don't think we need it. That's where the logging objective is. If you want to play the logging simulator, which uh, we are obviously not hauling logs in this. All right. Let's keep going through. Let's follow this trail. I think we just take this back to the start. I think we might have gotten close to doing a loop of at least part a loop of part of the trail here. So let's get going. All I know is we're just going to follow this thing back. Get over the rock. You can do it 6x6. Six six. You've got the power. I believe in you. There we go. And then we're just going to cut the trail right there. Take the fast line. And then we're going to need one high for the hill climb here. Because that's always a good idea to throw into it. I don't know why if, that, if you're supposed to or not. But 1 plus in this game works the best for hill climbs in any other gear. And, and just about every car 1 high is better than anything for hill climbs. So we gotta get over that, and then we're gonna throw it into here. And I, this is a dead end, isn't it? Thought for sure there's gonna it'll look like there's gonna be a bridge here for sure. I don't know. We'll see what ends up. We'll see what we end up hitting over here. Let's just pin it and go for it. Yeah, there's there is a bridge. All right, there is in fact a bridge. And are we supposed to just jump onto the bridge here? Yes. Oh, oh boy. Oh no, we almost we almost ran that off the trail there because we almost went between it. But it looks like we're going to be alright so far. Keep putting the power to the ground and hop on up. There we go. Now it looks like there's a rock guard we have to navigate through to get back to the start. Which is essentially just go to there. Go to there. I like these 3D maps in this game. These maps are, this map is so cool. I love this. It's like, see how it's 3D? It's like, you're looking at there. Now you don't see down there anymore because so it's 3D. Then we're going to go up through there. And then up to there, and then we're back at the garage. Let's try and make this work. Uh, let's put parking brake off, all-wheel drive and all that on, and throw it into one high. Here we go. Just going to charge through the rocks here, boldly going ahead. And we killed it. So that's about going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing the 6x6 Bronco. If you guys would like to see more spin tires in the future, let me know. I'll make it happen. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one.